Okay, so now I'm ready to finish out this last section. I'm going to put another bit of this um, reed. I want to make it a little bit taller than that because I want to leave room for my um, rim. And uh, so I'm going to just add, I folded this piece in half. I'm going to add it on here and then start working my way around. This top bit of twining does not have to be white. You can use a color if you want, if you have enough of the colors left, if you want it to be a part of your design, but you have to finish off with twining in order to be able to do your tucking and for it to stay together well. So we're using um, this at least an inch, so that's about six rows with this number um, two coil, round number two round coil and I'm just gonna keep going till I get the it close to the top. I think I'm gonna try and go um, nine or so rows because I wanna put a rim on it. And I wanna show you how to do that because in order to get an A, you need to have it finished, tucked, and a rim. You, your basket doesn't have to be any certain height Obviously, it can't be taller than the reed that you have, so it's going to be a, a nice little basket, but um, tucking is the hardest part. You can put two shorter pieces together. You don't always have to fold. Okay, so I left off here. I'm going to go back a spoke so that I'm not starting on that one. It'll make a weak spot in my basket if I do back a spoke like that and then I can also trim if I need to other things off and you kind of see my design.